In this episode, you're going to learn why you should consider adapting your training to suit your body's clock, how to recognize your energy peak for optimal performance, how to experiment with training times to find your best time, and a bunch more. Let's get it in. But knowing that there's a time and a place for both, I can definitely see why you would prefer mornings, uh, you know, knock it out of the way. Despite what I said, I can argue the other side. And, you know, truth be told, I have now switched to uh, the morning bird, the early bird, getting that worm. But what about you, Darren? Do you uh, see space for evening training? Uh, yes. I mean, look, uh, my my cr chronology, um, the uh, chron chronotype, sorry, the type of uh, so I actually, and there's been a lot of studies around this. I get more energy later in the day. Uh, mm -hmm. I actually perform my best. I you have your most max muscle maximal output. It's like 13 or 20 percent more around two and five p.m. And it's just like I'm actually training at the wrong time. Uh, and you know, like, and what what does the the saying go? You need to train fast to then race fast. So you can't be training at 80% if you want to get all the gains. You need to actually be going at 100% to get the gains. So I'm not allowing my body to train at a faster time. So all these things, I know I'm a morning person and the way I've shaped my life, I like the mornings better now. You couldn't have told me this 20 years ago, as I said before. <laughs> uh, but, 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 but there's a time and place for it. And um, the, the afternoon, I'd say, I wouldn't say evening. I'd say the late afternoon training. I've, I've done it. I'm trying to incorporate it more, especially in the summer. Uh, it's hard. It's real hard for me to do it, but I still do it knowing that there is benefits from it. I probably would rather do uh, a weight training session um, or an easy run than a hard run, um, knowing again with for the sure. data. But, you know, but shake it up every now and then, you know, see what it is. Pretty, pretty solid, non uh not non gray area, non situational area one because the last few that we've done have been a bit situational, which is always fun. So I think this is this is very black and white. Yeah, though there is some situational because, and I'll, I'll leave you with this bit where you know life happens, and sometimes you know your schedule dictates. Right, we are not professionals, and your schedule dictates what time you can and cannot devote to training. So if that's mornings. Awesome. And I think for most people working a, you know, standard nine to five job, great. But for those of you that work odd hours or have other responsibilities, whether that's, you know, whatever they might be, evenings might be your only time or you don't get it. But you've heard from us. You've heard from the judge. Leave those comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see y'all on the next one. If you want to learn more about this topic, we went into further detail. You should go and check that out right here.